Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to maybe a daily vlog. I think I'll vlog maybe a little bit more today than I did yesterday, although you guys liked my shots yesterday. Yeah, I like doing that too. Um, okay, so uh, I got the cameras all charged up, everything's good to go. Uh, my GoPros are all charged up for when we finished our shoots with, with Carl. Uh, that's all done, so now I can just go and do my Whataburger review. Uh, I'm just gonna go downstairs to have like a little, not a buffet, but I guess the whole continental breakfast, I'll show you. I think they have waffles, then hard boiled eggs, and your typical uh, toast and cereals and stuff. But it's good to have like an egg or two for protein. That actually probably saved me yesterday because I was, Carl woke me up like 20 minutes before we had to go. And uh, so I finally got downstairs and we had to go, so I just grabbed like a hard boiled egg real quick and two muffins. And that actually got me through most of the day, uh, which is very odd. Um, I guess because we're fishing, I didn't really pay attention to it if I was hungry. And then I just drank like three small Gatorades throughout the day, that which kept me hydrated and I didn't pass out and fall off the boat. Okay, let's go eat. Got coffee, orange juice. Eggs. All right, so I made myself a waffle. Grab two eggs, two more muffins for later, orange juice, and a coffee. Got to watch the news. Biggest storms may stay north. Nice. So we just finished uh, shooting a whole bunch of stuff that way, and uh, the guys are all getting set up to do some more, some more sh fishing. I do some more shooting, and we're gonna catch some crappy. So we are finished filming for the day, uh, for fishing anyway. So just doing some cutaway shots behind the scenes type footage. Let me show you what they caught today. Might get really dark in there, but we'll try. Simon, Drew, how, many, how many did we catch today, Carl? I think uh, we put six or seven in the boat. I only put two in. George had a good morning, good times, good people. I love Southern folk in Texas. I'll be back. Nice. How did you like it? It's a blast. Today was a blast? It was a blast. How was yesterday? One of the best times I can remember. Nice. Yesterday was wonderful too. Awesome. How can you beat the weather? Look. Half hour, 45 minutes to do our thing. As long as we're over at Hector's by four. Okay, you better do some filming there. Okay. Nice boat. Nice job, yeah. yeah, you too. So we're all done. We need the camera moving back, I guess, for some B roll. All right. Unless got you want to. Oh, I'm okay. You want to. Uh, I think we should just grab what we can now on the way back. Or do you want to drive back here tomorrow? That's where uh, like the Randy and George are staying just for a couple days while we shot some stuff. Now we're heading back to the hotel, do some B-roll. And then our interviews. Just finished doing all our B-roll for today. We gotta go back to the hotel as fast as possible. And we gotta do some interviews and things like that. But we thought we'd stop at Chicken Express and uh, do a little uh, impromptu uh, food review just for my vlog people. Let the people on the big channel figure it out. But I'll show you inside. I'm starting to talk like. Oh, we got a cup too. All right. I should have got some livers and gizzards. 
What is that? Livers and gizzards. Lizard? Combo oh, lizards. Oh, lizards. Uh, livers. livers and gizzards. Yes. For six twenty-nine, you can get six livers or gizzards for six twenty-nine. Hmm. Well, that's a challenge right there. That's a challenge. You have to eat it in one minute. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm in the hotel room. As you can see, uh, I grabbed one, two ketchups for myself uh, and a honey, because as you know, I like my honey. Honey, with my honey with my chicken, but they gave me five extra ketchups in there. We've got the biscuit. I thought it was gonna be a biscuit biscuit. Look at the grease, oh boy. Good thing they gave me the... I'm like worried about grease on that, and I'm gonna be eating that. So I think I got the uh, four piece, one, two, three, four, maybe. But they give you like almost extra. And then this is the gravy for my biscuit. Let's do a quick savory taste test of this chicken. Mmm. That's good, man. Maybe I'm supposed to go in the gravy. Joke. Uh, so I shovel more in. Mmm. The chicken with the gravy, phenomenal. I can't open this with one hand. Hang on, people. Okay. Well, the chicken is dynamite. Let's try this. Biscuit. This is a bun to me. Mmm. Gravy. Biscuit. Mmm. That should have a sweet flavor to it. Let me back off so you don't have to hear my mouth noises. That is wild. Very good tasting bun. Or biscuit. Mmm. Highly recommended that, but I don't highly re recommend that. All right, so there you go. There's my little review of this. This uh, for six bucks, six fifty, I guess, is a total recommend. Uh, if you really like your deep fried chicken, and this one, it looks like it has either the, the pico fry or has almost like the um, what's it called? Uh, corn flakes type batter on it, which is actually cool. I didn't try that fry, sorry. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. Put, put on gravy on it, put the gravy on everything. The fries are normal, nothing crazy special. Of course, I didn't get them hot right from the thing, we had to drive to the hotel room. Well, there you go, guys. There's a little review for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you ever see uh, Chicken Express, drop in, give their four piece uh, a shot. All right, I'm gonna finish this off. Hang on. Okay, guys, that's all I'm gonna have for you today. But before we go, we went over to uh, Hector's and had dinner and I ate something. I find it really hard to remember and say over again, uh, but I put it in my Instagram. Maybe that's what I should have done. It's gone on my Instagram, so that I know exactly what it is. I'm watching the news right now because Oklahoma just got smoked by a huge uh, thunderstorm which turned into, torna into tornadoes. You probably already heard of it. Heard about it before I just mentioned it now. Um, yeah, carne asado, 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 maybe. Carne asado. I kept, like, when I was videotaping uh, Hector making this food, I, uh, it sounded like he kept saying salad. Um, but as I know a little bit of Spanish, salado is salad, I believe. And uh, he didn't say, he just kept saying salad, which, which wasn't salad, it was that other word. Asado. So it sounded like salad in Spanish, but it wasn't. Anyway, so... Um, I'm going to do uh, birthday shout outs tomorrow for all the people I've missed over the last couple of days. I apologize for that. Uh, just 
been working really, really hard, but happy birthday to anybody who's had a birthday today, yesterday, and the day before. All right, so it's a beautiful day <laughs> here in Texas, uh, Gun Barrel City. And uh, tomorrow, uh, I believe I'll be doing the Whataburger tomorrow. Today, we were only supposed to fish for two hours to do interviews, and we were supposed to be done by at least 12. We fished until 11.30, got back here at 1.30, shot the interviews. By the time that was done, we only had a half an hour to get over and do Hector's, which he made the, of that amazing meal that you guys saw on Instagram and I asked you on Instagram and Facebook, do you guys want to see me do a review of Hector's food, carne asado? And uh, I think it's uh, pretty much, go ahead. Yeah, we want to see you do some Tex-Mex. All right, so thanks for watching Ken's Vlogs, and we'll see you tomorrow. I just looked up because I thought I wasn't recording. Ha <laughs> ha!